often when working with photos, you uh, you'll find a photo where you know the shadows are too dark or the highlights are too light or vice versa, and you need to correct it with a traditional uh, tone curve. And Camera Bag has that. Uh, so here's just the sort of regular tone curve. We may want to do something like you know boost the shadows by pushing this up right here or uh, stopping it from blowing out the highlights up there. What you'll often find is that you'll adjust things with the tone curve and then you'll think, ah, okay, I like this, but I wish the whole image were just a little bit lighter or darker or something. And in most programs, you'd have to come in and then adjust all of the little nodes of your tone curve and try to get it just perfectly right. Um, one of the nice things about Camera Bag is that I can layer as many of these tone curves as I want. So I've got this original tone curve, then if I want to, you know, just brighten the whole thing a little bit, I can have this second tone curve that's layered on top of that other tone curve, and it will um, combine the effect of those two together. I can do this as many times as I want, so if I've, you know, got my image and I think, okay, this is all great, but I just need to, you know, pull down the shadows a little bit more, then I can just add on this uh, other tone curve. And because this is all in 32 bits per component floating point color accuracy, I don't lose any image quality when I've layered on these multiple tone curves. If I toggle between the original and the filtered version, you can see the effect that it's having. So um, you can set this up so that you've got one that's controlling the shadows, one for the midtone, one for the highlights, or however you want it. But this uh, workflow the camera bag is built around allows for just incredible flexibility for this kind of, uh, this kind of problem.